All right, guys, today we're going to be looking at the bosses, the new and old bosses. Um, When I say new, I'm more talking upcoming that are coming soon and everything that uh, we have, all the knowledge that we have on them currently. We don't have too much. It's basically going to be more speculation than anything. And I'll be showing you comparing them to old bosses that are, uh, you know, not very well thought out and just kind of put into the game as filler at the moment and they were taken out a while back or actually for pre reco or for recode they were taken out because um they wanted to rework the citadel and other bosses and stuff that they made so i'll go back to some video i made on the citadel and i'll turn the volume off all right so here's one where i soloed it that's the cultural book that you get right there from the Citadel. Oh, if only I had had one still. That would be so nice because they aren't actually obtainable right now in the game. Which is kind of a weird thing. They kind of took out everything that's fun in the game. Like the Citadel, all these items that you can get. Glacian was kind of taken out and now it's back kind of. They kind of just took everything out and they're bringing stuff back into the game. Oh look, that's the bank that I used. I didn't didn't know I put the cultural book on that. Or oh, you couldn't drop it. Yeah, no, you can't drop the cultural book. Or I don't know if you still can't. Back then you couldn't. But see, this is the room. Two knights, one here, one here, and then the book's right there, and that's the boss. You basically talk to it, the book, take it, and they just jump you. Uh, so I believe you can't you can't get out of combat. I tested that here in the video to see if I could get out of combat, and I couldn't. Uh, the best way to go about doing this fight was getting those two minions stuck behind a corner and killing the boss like that. It was pretty easy to do, to be honest, as, especially as a thief. It wasn't too hard of a boss fight. It was obviously soloable, and really not too entertaining it, it was better than nothing it's a boss fight you know it the, the game's early it was early uh in alpha back then and that's what they could dish out and it was fun uh but they kind of needed to add more um what's it called more bosses or at least more different items that you could get instead of just a cultural book it's kind of like boring going into a boss fight and getting knowing that you're just going to get the item if you beat the boss. It's not like a chance or like you know, there's a huge chance you get a like a very rare item and then uh like a very small chance you get a rare, very rare item and then like a large chance of getting one of the more common ones, but they're still good, but they're common, you know. So it's more fun and entertaining to fight a boss when there's like something you're trying to get and it, it makes grinding a boss more fun uh but yeah you can do this with your friends and if you did it with friends i'm sure it would be like a walk in the park piece of cake you know but yeah basically they were all uh they were all base class sword users now let's go on to the newer bosses all right so here we are at the citadel again this is like a completely different citadel than what i'm used to of course, this is, um, honestly, like, this is later on when they actually, all right, so, that's very interesting. There's, like, multiple portals, I believe, and you can, it brings you to a different one each time. I guess you can, uh, as you saw there in the video, you can choose to leave the portal if you don't want to do that certain fight. Um, but it's interesting. Uh, apparently, they're farming Glacian or something. It says on the video, uh, Glacian boss farming. I don't know what that does, what it's about, the loot or anything. This is just uh, some stuff that happened after I was done. You can see Eclipse candy. I don't know, safety rune, demon candy. These might have to do with the Halloween event. I'm sh I'm assuming, but it could have to do with the boss as well. But this is very interesting. Oh, I, I see where that Glacian on the Trello was uh, one of those photos. I see where it was came from now. It was the boss. Pretty unfair, honestly. Like, I wouldn't want to have a boss that just drops you off the cliff. But this is way more interesting. 
this is kind of later down the road on the timeline of this game uh way more efficient and way better way way better than uh the first boss that you saw at the beginning it's uh you have like five different areas you can get into and you can farm to each one depending on what you want to get uh let's see what happens oh uh you can, doesn't even show what happens when you grip it but um yeah that's later down the road it's kind of getting better still along the lines of just uh walking into a small enclosed area not like a huge dungeon or anything um it's just a small little arena area just like the old boss so now let's get into the boss that's coming up soon or i i believe it's a boss right i mean it's gigantic so let's get into it right now actually before we get into the boss i wanted to point this out really quick this is set it says it's for a dungeon and this is probably going to be a new dungeon that's going to be added so that's really cool it might have something to do with the boss that we're about to see but it looks like it's about like probably from stone guard i can't really tell I, it's just based off of uh this uh the walls and the floor but uh if the boss has anything to do with it i'd be surprised because uh it's, it, the boss seems like a desert boss more than a, a boss that would be located in here so this might be something completely different to the boss i'm about to show you but that is uh something they're working on for a dungeon apparently so that's that now i'll show you the the boss this isn't what the boss looks like now this is just early stages of the boss but I'm just showing you this clip because this is how big the boss or the NPC is compared to the human. So obviously, <laughs> it being this big, it's got to be a uh, boss of some sort. And considering they're working on bosses and dungeons at the moment, this, you know, most likely is going to end up being some sort of boss. A couple ways they could work with it is maybe make it like a world boss that spawns uh occasionally has a rare spawn rate and if it spawns in maybe it tells the server the everyone in the server that the scorpion boss has spawned everyone goes to it whoever gets the most damage maybe gets the bo boss drops or something like that or you could uh or anyone gets the boss drops as once it dies you, whoever gets the items on the ground or even maybe everyone who damages it gets an item but who knows could be a boss like a, a world boss like that i would assume it's a world boss considering it's a massive scorpion that's probably just roaming around the desert but it could be just a boss that you go into a room like before like the citadel hopefully it doesn't work out like that because it's kind of as the dev said i believe in one of their dev talks it's kind of or no not dev talks but uh, I believe in the announcements or update channel, they basically said that the Citadel is, you know, one of the easiest type of dungeons they can do. It's not very huge and well thought out. It's kind of simple <clears throat> or simplistic. So they're probably going to do something cool with this boss. And here's some walking animation, I'd assume, with the NPC here. But now let's go on to what it looks like now so here's some of its animations it's probably this is like its idle animation it looks very cool in its later stages so far it looks very cool so it seems like they have the animations done and they've basically created it it's all up to figuring out how to release it into the game whether to make it a vent boss like world event or maybe um, a dungeon like in the citadel or something like that they still need to figure out stuff like that before they actually release it into the game but here's another clip of it this is a uh, grab attack maybe where it grabs you that'd be cool if it grabbed you and picked you up but yeah <clears throat> that's some uh that's the boss that they're working on hopefully it gets like <laughs> hopefully they actually make it into something like a world boss uh or anything other than the citadel i feel like the citadel is m more for small 
mini bosses not really i don't feel like it should be like i don't feel like the citadel should be where all the bosses come from you know i feel like this might be like so big you can't really put it into a small enclosed space like a citadel you got to put it in the deep desert and make it maybe a world boss or something that spawns on occasion and everyone sees it on screen world boss has spawned and everyone just goes after it you know that would probably be the best most interesting way of doing it but whatever the devs do i'm sure it's going to be amazing and uh i'm definitely looking forward to it so hopefully you guys enjoyed and <laughs> i'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, i just noticed this when i went to dm eggy a couple of days ago uh <laughs> obviously i can't dm eggy anymore but this is uh kind of funny <laughs> uh eggy uh i made it to 1k subs <laughs> can i get the youtuber role in your discord <laughs> i know it doesn't exist anymore but i thought that was funny to add to the video all right peace out